It's like everything is an obvious step forward, but then the place you end up at, just like with, with sex, like is it good to have artificial images of as many as you want, as much porn as you want, as much sex as you want? Is that good? As much as awesome stuff as you want, is that good? Is that what human flourishing looks like? What is going on here, Jamie? These aren't real people. What? Yeah, so these pictures are going around the internet. They're a lot of them look very similar to me, which is kind of weird. I'm sure Lex can explain that part of it, but I am not explaining any of this. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so like these the are completely 3D, like people. CGI made yeah. people. Not three. Not 3D. Not it's 3D. 3D. So like photo, very photo realistic, if not photo realistic. But like there are when you look real close, you can see some weird things going on. Like the background here is a little messed up. Mm. This arm is not to the right person. She's sitting on an extra piece of skin here somehow. I see you've analyzed this carefully. Well, me and my friends have been passing this around because, like, okay. it's too No, no, too no. Tricky. Listen, you're incorrect. That arm's in the perfect purpose. It's just there's a string from that other girl's bikini on it. Uh, the analysis continues. I'm just saying. So Is that what it is? Enhance, can you so. zoom in? Is that uh, a string? No, I think you're right. I think it's a fold. Zoom in on that spot. For yeah. people just listening. Oh, we're, yeah. We're, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's nonsense. We're looking um, at the, that. The hand goes the wrong way. Oh, that's wild. There's already and, apparently the OnlyFans accounts that are being taken over and being tricked by guys running them. Of course. And it's just these kind of fake girls that aren't real people. And look what? Real. These are all fake? Yeah. Like, look at the, like, the, even that's not a real door kind of to begin with. Wow. The hands or the fingers here are a little off. That's insane. And so this is right now just still images, and eventually it'll be film. Mm -hmm. Eventually it'll be unrecognizable. You you won't be able to d discern whether or not well, it's an actual person. I mean, in terms of obviously much of human civilization is driven by sex. I mean, there was a time we didn't have easily accessible porn. Right. And that changed a lot. I, mean, yeah. I don't think we've actually quite caught up to how much it changed the, the nature of human civilization. Just porn, easily accessible porn. Yeah, I talk and, about it on stage right now. It's very weird. It's 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 it's, it's very weird for kids. If you really think about what's happening with kids. Like any kid that has a smartphone, people just leave their you give your kid a phone, just leave them alone. Like they mm -hmm. just go, they go to school, they go to their friend's house. They have that phone independently of you. They could look at whatever the fuck they want. Some of this shit that I see just on Instagram, I don't know how these guys are doing it. And I don't know how it's getting recommended in my feed, but it's like videos of people getting murdered. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a lot of those I, we, simulated porn. I haven't seen that stuff. I, I, I well, I am. You and I have different <laughs> algorithms. We you fucking have. creep. <laughs> <laughs> but then someone gets taken down for something uh, that's like they call it porn and it's not porn or something. Like, well, are do you guys not see what else is on this? I mean, platform? I think right that what's going on is that they're managing at scale, and I think it's it's virtually impossible to stop all that stuff from coming in, and people that have individual situations where people get banned. I mean, I don't know why they're getting banned. Are they getting banned because of, the, of an algorithm? Are they getting banned because they uh, post uh, misinformation? Or what, what are they getting banned for? Harassment photos. Someone was joking about Harassment. a friend. You know, like they put... They get reported. Yeah. I don't, oh. I don't know how it's all working when it breaks down to individual we, uh, circumstances. But. You had a good conversation with, uh, with Jordan Peterson. He was talking about the more you have this kind of virtualization, the more you uh, allow the psychopaths to to reign free mm -hmm. yeah so like the more we have artificially generated porn the more we have artificially generated uh violence photorealistic violence yeah the more you uh make it normal for you to be basically a psychopath in the digital space and enable that and make that okay and then you forget what it's like to actually be uh, a good human being and then also part of the problem may be that we may very well be looking at a world whether it's 10 years from now 20 years from now whatever it is where these children that have grown up in this environment now have a completely different way of looking at people and the world because of all these interactions they have. It's, been, yeah. it's flavored their personality. And then we move into a digital world of our, I mean, we're not there yet in terms of uh, virtual reality. It's not good enough. I mean, this, I think that's what we're seeing with the meta failure. Mm -hmm. the people were expecting, a lot of people were just gonna dive in and start wearing goggles all over the house. But it's not quite there yet. Yeah. There's also something weird for people. There's something really weird about wearing these head goggles and walking. It's really fun. I really enjoy the boxing games. You ever, you ever done any of them? No, in VR, no. They're great. You get a workout. Mm -hmm. You like, legitimately get a workout because you're actually sparring against like a computer character. It's throwing punches at you. You're moving your head. Mm -hmm. And so you have these things in your hands and you, know, you get tired. It's good. It feels realistic. Eh, a little bit. 
you know when when you get hit with a punch your your face will lights up you get a flash of light which is kind of cool because you're like oh jesus you know you feel it like you're getting hit there's some really fun games there's one where you walk a plank across this uh these two buildings and you hear yeah. the wind whistle and shit oh, that one is terrifying there's zombie ones there's a lot of cool ones but people are just not buying into it the way they buy into xbox and playstation they're not they're not like wholesale committed to this yet but they will be it's gonna it's gonna be so fucking good that instead of like having an in a, a goggle form where it's like this big clunky thing on you it's gonna be very easy to do well, and when, been, when uh, they get to that woof. i've been uh revisiting some classic books recently just doing a reading list and one of them that captures this extremely well that i recommend that i think most people read in like middle school or something but it's actually very relevant is brave new world mm. so uh, a lot of people including jordan peterson worry about 1984 sort of a totalitarian a dystopia that represents a totalitarian state but brave new world has a there's no centralized government that's like uh dogmatic and controlling everything surveilling everything they basically created this world where sex is easy everyone's promiscuous uh, genetic engineering removes any kind of diversity any kind of interesting dark uh bad diversity that we would think of like the hunter s thompson's and the uh the bukowski's mm. the the weirdos of society and then he gives you uh drugs soma that it basically gives you pleasure whenever you want if you uh start feeling a little too shitty about your life and that's actually closer to us closer to us and it doesn't seem if you i mean the way he writes about it it sounds bad like we don't want that but then you're like you start to ask a question like well at which point would we realize it's bad? Because it's constantly, obviously we should do generic engineering to remove any kind of like um, maladies that we have, any kind of diseases. It's like everything is an obvious step forward, but then the place you end up at, just like with, with sex, like is it good to have artificial images of as many as you want, as much porn as you want, as much sex as you want? Is that good? As much as awesome stuff as you want. Is that good? Is that what human flourishing looks like? Or do you want to have some constraints, some limitations, some finiteness of resources, some some scarcity? Maybe that's actually fundamental for human happiness. Having too much of awesome stuff, maybe that destroys the possibility of real, meaningful, deep happiness. It, it certainly does. But I think the question really becomes, are we going to stay people? 